Today is that day. It's weighing day, bro. I'm gonna go weigh myself in and see if uh, the hard work's been paying off. <laughs> if not, I'm gonna give up. Ah, <laughs> Jakes. Okay, brace yourself, I take you on a trip down memory lane. It was me, my cousin Drew, acting a fool off MLK. Lil' Cray, Granny told me Jesus came to save my soul. I just confess and believe in He won't never let me go. Now I praise Him. He brought me through the darkest storms. My God is so. So before we go and weigh myself in, we're coming to the fantastic furniture. My wife is going to oh Super A Mark. Yeah, nice. Oh, 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 uh, so you yeah, were going to see, I swear she said, uh, fantastic furniture before, but you yeah, were going to Super a -Mart because my wife is selling our diner set, she's selling our table, because she wants to get another table. <sighs> hey, hey, don't, don't get comfortable there, buddy. Don't get comfortable there, buddy. Oh. <laughs> I always lost her. Wow, that feels gangster. That feels so nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that side, pretty cool. You like it, Lana? Is it soft? Very nice. <laughs> Are you silly? Up to kids. This girl just said, Oh, should we just buy a couch instead? <laughs> I'm sick of this girl, bro. Hey, silly. Stay on plan, bro. <laughs> We're going to the tables, Margie. Let's not get uh, too carried away now, eh? That was a bit of an unsuccessful trip. We couldn't find exactly the table that my wife was looking for. So it's a good good news for me. <laughs> uh, so we've got to go go way in now. Let's get it. Alright, here's the moment of truth, bro. Let's go. That's where we're at for night. Oh, oh man, I'm super happy about that result. Let's flip and go. I was 188.5 last time I weighed myself, which was maybe three, three and a bit weeks ago. Uh, so I've lost just under five kgs. <sighs> that is, oh man, I'm, I'm beyond happy, bro. Beyond excited right now. You cannot explain. The joy I'm feeling right now, bro. As you guys saw, my last win was really disappointing when I only lost like 800 grams, which was still good. It was still pretty decent, but it was not what I was expecting. My expectations were so high. This time I went with no expectations. I didn't know what to expect, but I knew I put in the work. And I'm 183.7, which is 4.8 kgs, bro. It's in like three weeks. Three and a bit weeks or something like that. Uh, I'm super duper happy, bro. Super happy. Man, let's go. You proud of me, babe? On a scale of one to proud, how proud? The scales. <laughs> tip, the, tip the scale, shurikens. <laughs> nah, gee. I can't wait till I get to the 180 club because once I get 180, I ain't never going back, bro. I'm going under that, bro. Just uh, finished at the. Um, Priceline, which is the chemist where I weighed myself in, and then we're, I was just walking and I was trying to record, and then somehow we ended up in IKEA because it's like literally next to it. <laughs> I was walking, following this girl because I'm not like thinking or watching where we're going, and then uh, yeah, she tricked us into walking into IKEA. Basically, my wife just used my joy against me. Yeah, nice. I gotta give it, gotta give it to IKEA. It, it is pretty nice, like pretty cool. Nice areas, nice kitchenery. Pretty mecca cars. My wife is just in paradise after swindling, tricking me, deceiving me in my joy. Not so shabby. Another unsuccessful trip at IKEA. <laughs> she got a bite her table. When all else fails, what do we do, babe? Get coffee. <laughs> Get coffee. <laughs> and a juice for my daughter. Let's go. <laughs> Darling. How are you doing? I'm good. I just see a lot of sadness, disappointment. 
Can you explain how you're feeling? Just defeated. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Still on a massive high from yesterday. Losing 4.8 kgs. Especially when you put in the hard work and it pays off, man. Fah. It's the best feeling ever, eh? But yeah, anyways, about to hit the gym. Uh, yeah, just certainly the best, best feeling in the bloody world, man. All glory to God, man. God did. And just like that, we're back, baby. <laughs> oh man, it's hella packed, so yeah, it, it does get a bit, you know, a bit weird pulling out the camera, but it is what it is. Let's get it, baby. Oh. <sighs> Push day today. Starting off with shoulder press. Doing four sets. 10 to, 10 to 12 reps. And that's his first exercise done. Feeling it like crazy right now. We're really sweating on the second exercise, bro. <laughs> Last time. Let's get a baby. Third exercise. Standing tricep extensions or whatever you call it. Ah, that chest exercise almost took me out, bro. That was hectic. Last short exercise. Single arm. Oh, that raises. Whatever, whatever it's called, man. It's done and dusted, baby. Oh, honest, I try to go for that last tricep exercise, but. I went and the one I wanted to do, which is kind of the isolation tricep extension, uh, the seated one, and someone was on there, so I'm not gonna wait around. That's our starting five exercises. Bang! That was flowers for a man who died this week, and it's pretty sad, man. It's not pretty, it's really sad. He had an accident with another family, or you know, I think it was an opposing car coming the other way, or whatever the situation was. He was riding a motorcycle, and he went to work that week not knowing, not knowing that that was his last day. He went to work that day, having his last coffee, having his last lunch break, without even knowing. I don't know if he had a family, I don't know if he had kids, I don't know if he had a wife, but if he did, he went to work that day not knowing that would be the last time they would ever see him again. And it's crazy, it's crazy to me. It's so, so sad. And it's, it's really prompted in my heart a strong urge in terms of knowing your purpose. Because if you really ask yourself, like, do, do you know? Do you know when your time will come? Do you know where you'll go if you die? Do you know, like, <laughs> do you live a purpose-filled life, yes or no? I can live my life, I can do whatever I want, but you just don't know. You don't know when that time calls. You don't know when an accident will happen, when you'll walk across the road, you know, and you'll never see or you'll never breathe another breath again. That's why it's so important to know Jesus. So important to know Jesus. Everything that has a beginning has an end. Every single thing that has creation, everything that has been created has a beginning and has an end. And in order for you to have a beginning and have an end, there needs to be a creator in all things. There needs to be a creator. And that is Jesus. And the Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus. Whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. It says, if you believe in Jesus that he died and rose again. But why did Jesus die and rose again? Why did he have to die? Why did he have to send his son, Jesus? Because in the beginning of Adam and Eve, when God's relationship with mankind was like this, best friends. Adam and Eve sinned, which caused disconnection between them and God. They committed the first sin of disobedience when Jesus said not to touch the apple from that tree and Eve ate the apple, gave it to Adam and right there, sin entered the world and we were disconnected from Jesus. So later down the track, he sends his son, he sends his son Jesus to die on the cross for you and me when he didn't have to. To die on the cross for you and me so that we may be saved, that we may have this thing called salvation, that we may be reconnected back to Jesus and we may live eternal life with Jesus and not in hell. He has given us a second chance and it says here, all you have to do is believe. Say the prayer of salvation. 
But then follow me down here in verse 21. It says, but whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. So I just want to highlight it there. It says, but whoever lives by the truth comes into the light. So it's not merely enough just to believe. We now need to move into living in truth and living in conviction that Jesus died for our sins. We are never going to be perfect never going to be perfect but that is never an excuse to try our best to strive towards who god wants us to be so even so many christians make so many excuses they say i believe i believe in god i believe that's not enough that's not enough it literally says in the word we have to earn our salvation with tremble and fear and if you're sitting on the fence this is a wake-up call for you too and me too stop living unholy lives and saying man I i'm <laughs> I got heaps of time. I'll just wait till next year. I'll just wait till tomorrow. I'll just wait till next week. I'll just wait till next month. That is never guaranteed. That is never guaranteed. Our lives here on earth are never guaranteed. The small bit of life that we have here on earth dictates where we spend eternity. And if it's up to me, how no, I'm not going to waste my time here. And I hope it's the same for you too. Because when you stand before God and say, oh, I didn't know. Nobody told me. Yeah, they got on the video. They random dude on the video that you watch. He was telling you about salvation, but you never listened. Don't just take my word for it, man. Look it up for yourself. Seek for it yourself. Find a Bible. Search. Ask God. Pray to reveal himself to you. And he will reveal himself to you to those who earnestly seek with their open hearts and those who come to God in surrenderance. I'll see you all tomorrow at the Touch Camp. Something burning, keeping me alive. Yeah. Telling me to fight on to the morning light. Yeah. It won't let me quit, it won't let me stop. <sighs> won't let me stop. Thank you, Lord, for the sweet. Thank you for fighting. Thank you for your provisions. Thank you for the fear, rebuking the worry. Stop with me. Rebuking the lies and anxiety. I'm holding on to this one thing that helps me believe. Yo, we're back. We've just pulled up to touch. We're doing a touch comp today. As you guys saw this morning, I woke up at, I think, I woke up pretty early this morning so I can get my breakfast in. I break my 52 hour, oh, 56 hour fast. So it feels good. I had to refill my body before coming to our touch comp today. But yeah, hopefully we get a few tries. Let's go. So it's intermittent fasting. So basically fasting, because there's heaps of health benefits of intermittent fasting. So I was fasting for yeah, 56 hours. I'm gonna try and introduce a midweek fast every single week. Try and do at least 48 hours um, in the middle of my week, every single week. Uh, yeah, just due to health benefits. If you guys wanna jump on it, check it out. Uh, do the research for yourself. But anyways, basically work myself up to 72 hours, a 72 hour fast, being able to do that weekly. So yeah. Typical Ben time. Usa started two hours ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, Usa. <laughs> so late there, come. Huh? I'm already feeling lightheaded. So. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> how are you feeling today, mate? I'm f I feel good. And how do you think your performance is going? Uh, I'm good. I'm just playing more of a supporting role to um, Elijah today. So. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. Um, but anyways, how how did you find and how did you uh, deceive Dylan uh, before? You know, you gave him the big one-two dummy and went through. What, what was going through your mind at the time? Um... Not much really. I just once I threw the dummy, he started going, and we don't. We still to this day don't know where he went. <laughs> He's still lost. <laughs> That's it. Check out these fellas. <laughs> these guys are gonna be tired before the game. Let's go, boys. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be physical this game. Physical. Let's go, brothers. In there, who's in there? <laughs> Captain or coaches? Captain and coach. Oh, <laughs> parents or guardian? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I've never heard so many different tunes at one time, Sully. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Meanwhile, this team over here, there's the adult team racing the boys. So look at this team. There's there's no there's no synergy. I don't see any team connection. Here's the no synergy. You got the the three star players over here practicing by themselves, and you got the rest of the team over here just you know doing their thing. You know what I mean? Coach Chris, what's what's the plan, Luz? What's the plan? Oh, you shake the map, yeah, yeah, that's the one, Luz. Drunk. Yep. Hey, she's just started. Oh! Blake's already getting in there. Sardis. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The young fellas with the young legs. From moment to moment, I needed to get where I'm going. I needed to fight the opponent. Woo! The power that moves every mountain. Protect me when evil surround me. I know it's a power living in me. People don't see it, but it's all around me. They told me it's over, I'm finished. Done. But God said, just wait and bear witness. Wait. He split the red ties, made the dead ride. Just let him handle his business. Yeah. They told me, confess and believe. believe. I got so much dirt on my knees. Because I've been talking to the Lord all day. All fellas get on the road first. That's my name. Need mercy, need grace. Need strength, I need faith. Need power, because the world's dark. Having trouble seeing your face. Oh, what a fool! I had a fight. I done got tired of fighting. You give me life. You give me light. I got the power to try. You're in my darkest time. Currently three all, so I'm gonna be ready. So it's uh, sick enough, sick enough, about to come up. Let's go. Run! Let's go, move to the front! Hold on now!
just finished church. Uh, we're at home now, and I have to try. Um, I have to eat the caramel slice, man. It's too beautiful to resist, but bro, look at it. Honestly, the best dessert in the game. I'm not even kidding. The biscuit base, the hardness, um, how firm it is. It's like perfect. The texture, the thickness of the biscuit base. And then the homemade caramel, the caramel was homemade. You get that like smoky flavor because it's been fried in the pan. Um, yeah, it's just so beautiful. Then the uh, nice topping on top, I think it's just like a, a white chocolate ganache, um, or ganache, whatever, however you say it, but yeah. Chanel makes these, man, it's fried. It's honestly the best dessert, hands down. Uh, Oh, it won't let me quit, it won't let me stop. Hey, hey, nah, I'm not sharing, bro. I've been eating so good. So I definitely deserve this, bro. I'm gonna take my time. Boom, that died. Come on. Boom. Look at this girl, bro. Man, she's been eating the junk meat. Just give me this one time, bro. Hey, close your mouth. It's not happening. Thank you for watching another new vlog. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have an awesome and blissful week. I love you guys. And I'll uh, catch you next week. Peace.